sick. <coughs> yeah. Mom, I gotta go. I can't talk right now. Okay, bye. I know that a lot of people are sick. Some are even dying. This is like a real catastrophe. It's almost like we're in the first 20 minutes of a zombie movie. My parents are freaking out. My friends are paranoid. The whole world is going crazy. But if you ask me, this is like the best thing that's happened to me in years. <laughs> I lost the stupid job that I hated and now that I'm sick, my parents feel sorry for me so they offered to pay my bills for the next few months. And being sick has made life so much easier. I'm so sorry, but I can't make it to your parents tonight. <coughs> Thanks for being so understanding. <coughs> Okay, 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 bye. For me, it's been one long paid vacay. But more importantly, Mother Nature has slammed the brakes on Homo sapiens. It's like a big global timeout. Air and water is cleaner. We're traveling less, we're consuming less. But some experts have predicted that when this pandemic is over, Fuel consumption, etc., is going to bounce way back, eliminating the progress that we're making right now. That's why I hope this thing drags on for at least another nine months. Because by then, our patterns of behavior will have changed permanently. We will have evolved. Okay, so a bunch of old people are gonna die. Nothing wrong with thinning the herd every now and then. And when this is over, we will have fresher air, cleaner water, more resources and less people. What's not to like? He left this morning, and when we kissed goodbye, I wanted to kiss longer, but you pulled away. Happy quarantine, Valentine. They say absence makes the heart grow fonder, but too much distance can be dangerous. I constantly check my phone and post on Instagram to see if you are loving my stories. I dread being alone. I'm bored and anxious. I talk to the shadows on the walls. I dream of long nights and lazy mornings with the sun beaming through my bedroom window with you. The world demands we stay the fuck home. Kedarthen kasa, zostan v domu, stanna hemma. I will refrain from sending needy text messages and bombarding you with my anxieties. I promise to be positive for once. I love your way and the way that we met. You asked me out for breakfast. Pancakes? It was cute. I was flattered. Your eyes sparkled. And I'd been craving for pancakes for months. We laughed as we strolled through our deserted city, kissing, holding hands, exchanging bacteria. We washed our hands together. We share a need for freedom and a desire to trust strangers. You're my perfect stranger. Am I yours? As I struggled to engage in our conversation, those thoughts persisted in my head. 
when will you realize I am not who I pretend to be? When will you lose interest? When will you grow tired of me? When will you find me ugly and stupid? But for now, you like me. At a safe distance. Hi, mommy. Oh, I'm improving. <coughs> what? No, I didn't post anything on Facebook. Did, did I tell people I have the coronavirus? No, I, oh, I posted a selfie on Instagram this morning with a hashtag post COVID selfie. <clears throat> no, 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 I didn't almost die. No, I'm not lying or posing. I just, no, I know it's deadly for some people, but not for everyone. I'm still young and I don't have any other pre-existing conditions. I, I didn't think it was a big deal. No, well, no, I'm sorry you felt like you had to deny it. Uh, no, I know I didn't get tested. Excuse me, Bobby. No, it was just an educated guess based on my symptoms. I, um... Well, I'm sorry that people are calling you about it. Mm. Okay. I will post a nice picture. Mm. Yes, and take that one. <coughs> <coughs> I'll take that other one down. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mom. I have another call, Mommy. I have to go. I have another call. Okay. Mm. Mm. Hi, Maria. Uh, it's uh, been a long time. How is everyone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're fine. Uh, kids, I think it's are fine. <laughs> and Simon too. And oh, good to hear. Uh, how are you, Mom? Is she safe? We're good. Uh, Mom's self distancing. I'm doing all of the shopping, but really there isn't anything to worry I'm about. <laughs> This is it, Anna. <laughs> what? Come home. Come back to us before it's too late. Not this again. Uh, let's just hang up right now if, if you're gonna... But it's happening now, Hannah. We know from the Bible's prophecy that the pestilence, COVID-19, is a sign we're nearing the end. Remember, Jesus foretold, stay awake, stand firm, grow mighty. Stop! You know I don't want to hear this. You, you know I don't believe this. I don't mean to upset you, but soon there will be a new world. When you see these things occurring, know that the kingdom of God is near. The world is passing away, and so is its desire. But he, that thus the will of God remains forever. Maria, you're my sister, and, and I love you, but this is bullshit. And I love you. That's why I'm begging you. You can only be saved if you return to us. It's the only way to save your children, your family. I want you to join us in paradise. Oh, everything will be beautiful. It will be perfect. Oh, we will get to see Dad again. Oh, Hannah, I'm so filled with joy right now. And I... Hannah? Hello? Hannah?
Corona. Corona. Just that word makes me want to kill myself. I remember when Corona used to be something good. A nice cold beer with a fresh lemon wedge. Not a pest. Did you know that on plastic, the coronavirus can survive for 72 hours? On stainless steel, 72 hours. On cardboard, 24 hours. On clipper, 4 hours. And in the air, at least 3 hours. Every meeting is dangerous. And on top of all that, on top of all of that, I have a brother who is delusional. You totally lost your mind, Sarah. I don't recognize you. You become a paranoid hypochondriac. Hypochondriac? Me? <laughs> I'm just using common sense like everybody else. And I clean because I think it's fun to clean. Why does he have to care about that? He's cocky, he thinks he's immune, and stupid guys can only learn the hard way. I heard about this 26-year-old girl who had it and died. She was not a part of a risk group. She was perfectly healthy. And then just poof. Sick like a dog. No. Common sense won't cut it. You need to watch your step. Look around all the fucking time. And if you do that, if you are really, really careful, there is still a really, really big chance that you will get really, really sick. And what the fuck is up with that? skies and purple clouds glitter everywhere darkness inside drove me here madness everywhere so easy to find makes almost everyone blind feeling of numbness creeps up it's easy to get stuck
New Year, Mom. I uh, hope you're well. So, um, I know I am. Yeah, 2020 is really going to be my year. You know the big audition that I was doing for a while that I didn't want to talk to you about because I didn't want to jinx it? Um, yeah, I got it. <laughs> Mom, your son is going to play Hamlet on the main stage of the Royal Dramatic Theater. Mom, this is a game changer. Like, it's already put me on a map. Like, just this morning, this casting director called me up and offered me a co-starring role in a new Netflix series. And I was like, oh my God, it's finally happening. Like, it's really, really happening. Your son is going to be a star. And mom, I'm so thankful uh, for everything you've done to me and always believing in me and uh, you're the best mom and I love you and say hi to everyone and uh, take care and I love you. Hey mom, sorry I haven't been in touch for a while. It's been pretty crazy here. Just found out that the new Netflix series will be postponed indefinitely and uh, I guess you read that the Hamlet show got cancelled. Yeah, the director got sick, and we're not even sure if she's going to make it. So, uh, all my lucky breaks are down the toilet. And I've been out of job for a while, and I'm broke. And I didn't really know what to do, so I had to call Dad. And he helped me out, but not before giving me the old, I told you so, blah, blah, blah. I guess that's no surprise, eh? Yeah, but I'm still really optimistic that things will turn around and uh, I'm going to try to find a new agent and uh, yeah, I'm glad to hear that you guys are well. I gotta go now. Stay safe, okay? <coughs> Hi mom, sorry for not calling you back. Yeah, I got the virus. And I didn't want to scare you. Um, it was really weird. I lost my sense of taste and sense of smell. And I had a fever for a few days. Yeah, for a while there, I actually thought I was going to die. But the good news is that I realized that I don't want to be an actor anymore. I want to do something to help others, something real. I have no idea what that's going to be, but I'm, I'm done with show business. Are you ever going to answer? Or are you intentionally trying to break my heart? Hello. Stop acting like a child and answer my calls. I don't want to take this by text. Are you even aware of what's going on outside? Well, clearly not, since you're obviously incapable of understanding me. <sighs> if you're wondering why I haven't been in touch or avoiding you, it's because I don't care anymore. Why should I? You don't care, obviously. You haven't answered my texts, you haven't returned my calls, you haven't shown any kind of interest in how I am doing in this horrifying situation that we're all in. So this is it. Do not contact me ever again. Goodbye. Um, I got a call from a hidden number, but they didn't leave a message. Was it you? Have you decided to hide your number from me? Why am I even asking? How could you be so selfish? Could you, for once,
try to put yourself in my shoes. Isn't that what you're always telling me? Try to put yourself in my shoes. How do you think I feel? It's always about you, you, you. What about me? For once, be there for me. But actually, I don't want you to. Not now, not ever, because I don't care anymore. I know we are doing this. It's because... I know we are doing this. But it's not going to work. You're trying to make me feel insecure and unstable. Well, let me tell you something. I am not the unstable one. I'm not the person who is playing these silly mind games with another person's heart. I'm not the un I'm not the I'm not the disloyal, uncaring bitch who pretends to be my best friend. That would be you. I've been there for you and I've given my soul to our friendships and I've been giving and giving and giving and being so patient and forgiving with you more than with anyone else but you can see that and I don't know why I even keep trying even though I no longer care at all. I just called to say have a good life and good luck with your secure friendships. I'm done. You won't be hearing from me ever again. Goodbye. Fuck you. Hi, it's Linnea. I heard you've been sick. I'm so sorry. Uh, please call me if you hear this. Uh, if you need anything, I mean anything, call me. Bye. I'm not sure you got my last message, but it's Linnea and I heard you were sick. I'm so worried that I haven't heard from you. Please call me or text me so that I know that you're okay, okay? Are you ever gonna answer or are you intentionally trying to break my heart? Hi mom, it's me. How are you doing? I'm very good, actually. You know how much I love early mornings, right? Alex surprised me with an amazing breakfast in bed this morning. And guess what? He spontaneously made up a love song to me during breakfast. <laughs> He's so silly. He's wonderful. I'm happy to have him. I'm thankful every day. Mom, you know what? We've bought a house together. <laughs> yes, yesterday. The one I told you about. You think? Too early. But... Mom, we've been together for a year now. It's totally okay to move in together. When you can meet him. Um, I'm not sure. I know, I know, I hear you. It, it is weird that you haven't met him yet. But, you know, he's got so much work right now. He still have time for me, of course. But not much else. He talks about you a lot and wants to meet you. But he's too busy right now. But I promise you that we'll invite you for lunch. Soon. Very soon. I promise.
your last hours are happy and that you aren't lonely. I'm here, even though I can't be there with you holding your hand. They say that you aren't strong enough and that it's too big a risk. I'm trying to stay positive, but it's hard. You always told me, keep your face towards the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you. In times like this, what other choice is there? <laughs> Even though I know that you are ready, I'm not. <laughs> but I, I will believe that you will go to heaven and be together with grandpa again. So give him the biggest hug. <laughs> And for you, in all my respect, are all the world. Then how can it be said I'm alone when all the world is here to look on me? It's... Um Day 18 of isolation. I couldn't sleep last night, so I went into the kitchen to have some jam on toast. I thought about it. Was it worth it? To have the last bit of jam? Or should I be smart and ration it? But I thought, fuck it. I ate it. A half dry jam toast. What a disappointment. I always have my supply. Strawberry jam with butter on toast. Ever since I was a kid, it reminds me of a time when things were easier. It's finished now. I put the jar back into the fridge anyway. I can't believe how stupid I am. Why didn't I make sure to buy enough to have at home? Why? Why? I can't even do that thing right. I don't know what to do now. They won't deliver food to my house because I'm under 60 and I'm not a priority. I'm on lockdown and I can't go to the shop. My own mum forbid me to come home. She said, you're too big of a risk. You can be contagious. Stay at home. Isolate yourself for three weeks and then we'll talk. <sighs> then last night, I found myself sitting on the kitchen floor in the dark, alone, with tears in my eyes, crying about the empty jam jar. I mean, jam is so simple. It's so uncomplicated it's so perfect you eat it and you finish the jar and then you replace it with a new one but now I can't and I don't know when I'll be able to get more I lost my job 11 days ago everything is closing down or going out of business. I mean, losing everything made me realize that maybe I've always felt like this. Afraid. Helpless. Depressed. Lost. 
and empty. Like the jam jar. What is the world coming to? I can't see my friends or a family. I have no job, no money. I'm just so... So... Lonely. And I really, really, really want some fucking jam right now. I mean, it's, it's times like this when, when you really, really appreciate the important things in life. Like jam with butter on toast. <laughs>